That's how you start to callous your mind. It's gonna suck. Yep. It's not gonna be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. Every day. That's how you grow. Yep. Listen, you become mentally tough by doing tough shit. The same way that you become stronger by lifting heavy weights. It's the same concept. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick here with another episode of Break It Down. Now, once again, I'll be talking about the Mediocre Tutorials channel. Now, he's one of my favorite people to watch, and he has some very good takes on the different topics, but this particular clip I liked, it wasn't necessarily him covering a topic. It was him actually speaking on his own thoughts about something I'm very knowledgeable about, mental toughness. Now, if you don't know, I've done research in this field in my background as applied sports psychologist, as well as just my general interest in the topic from living my life trying to overcome adversity. Now, he speaks on mental toughness in reference to something David Goggins said, who's really known in the motivational sector, being a former Navy SEAL, but he made some good points that I really resonated with and is backed up by the research. And now with that being said, as we always do, we're going to use psychology and science to break this down. Now let's get into it. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. Yep. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. Every day. That's how you grow. Yep. Listen, you become mentally tough by doing tough shit the same way that you become stronger by lifting heavy weights. It's the same concept. Life today for most humans have just become way too easy. We don't have to hunt, plant food, find shelter, find water. So most of us in this first world society don't have to work hard in order to achieve the bare minimum. But as men, you have to understand that if you wanna be a cut above the rest, if you wanna be great, your pursuit towards excellence will come at pain. It will come at sacrifice. But the more that you do it is the more that you will callous your mind, which will prepare you to take on much more difficult tasks than the next man. Think of any competitive athlete anywhere. The amount of grind that they put in to reach that level of competition should be the same amount of effort that you are putting into your everyday grind and your purpose to achieve greatness. Okay, so he said some pretty great things here and I'm gonna bring it over to the science of it all. Now he said something that I'd actually did with my master's thesis on mental skills and how to periodize it. Now periodization and shift conditioning is the ability to take training blocks to lead up to a specific point. Simply put, you're gonna plan out your whole training month to even year to hit your top lifts or top speeds or whatever it may be. And that was how I approached mental training. Now he says something that kind of resonates with that. He said, you have to put yourself in the hard or tough scenarios, things that probably have a high risk, low reward and try to overcome it. Now, typically, if it's high risk, low reward, you're probably not going to overcome it the first try, second try, maybe even 15th try. But the thing is, over time, it reinforces the behavior because if you keep going, remember, your brain is built on a system of feedback. Now, if you do what said behavior is set out to do, the feedback says, great, let's repeat it, do it again. But if you don't get it the first time, you're going to have to say, what do I need to do next? The feedback's going to say, how do I adjust? So with mental toughness, people usually say you either have it or you don't, and this is very wrong. Now, some people may be mentally tougher from the start, just like some people are faster, stronger, taller, but you can always increase things such as strength and speed. Just like that, you can increase mental toughness through putting yourself through more adversity. So instead of doing the easy, low-hanging fruit, whether it's going for a job you know that may not pay a lot, but you'll be able to do it easily versus the job that may pay a lot, but it takes way more work or even maybe further education to even get it. Or if you already qualified, it's more competitive applicants that you're going against. You might not get that job, but the feedback to your brain is gonna say, hey, you tried, you didn't get there, but what was the reason you didn't get it? And you can reanalyze what happened. Cause it's not about failing or winning, it's about what behaviors are required because mental toughness is just a set of behaviors. People like to paint it as this, this holistic trait that you're just given and it just covers you always. No, mentally tough people feel nervous. Mentally tough people mess up and fail. It's just the fact that they get so used to it that they understand that it's a part of the job and then you do it again. It's not about seeing it as an easy option. It's about either it's a threat or a challenge. I always use this example because if you see it as a threat, that's not a mentally 
tough person because a threat means I can't do this and this is where I stop. A challenge though is something a mentally tough person would see because a challenge says, I see this is not quite how I thought it would be, but how do I overcome it? The difference between a threat and a challenge is threat has a finite end while a challenge is indefinite. You don't know how it's gonna go, but yet you still try. So Mediocre Tutorials did a great job of bringing this up and breaking it down in a general sense and it definitely correlates with the literature. One of the things I actually thought about as Goggins was talking is this very YouTube channel right here. Y'all think that I wanted to be prospecting, creating and editing and uploading multiple videos a day while I was working a nine to five in corporate America. That came with a lot of pain and a lot of sacrifice. And I did it for years with literally no views. So if you're trying to be successful, I have one question to ask you. Are you prepared for that type of grind to be successful? Now, this second part of the clip I really liked because not only did it talk more about mental toughness in a more personalized view when he talked about his YouTube channel and how it grew and he spent all this time building it, but it hit me because as you guys are watching my videos, I'm building my YouTube channel. Now, I'm on other social medias with a much larger following. I have over 21,000 followers on Instagram. I've been doing my thing there. I, I've been working with some of the best performers, athletes, musicians, entertainers in the world. So I've been out here doing things, but on YouTube, it's not as much. And like he said, he was working a nine to five. Me, I'm running my business while still trying to build this YouTube, shooting these videos, but I still see clients. I'm here at my facility doing this, but I gotta go see other clients in person. I work events, I work with my contracts, I work with my police departments. My days are very long and jam packed and I still have to edit these videos myself. So I understand that. And this comes to being able to do something with little to no reward. A lot of people don't wanna hear that because typically there's something called intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Extrinsic means what are you getting out of it? Intrinsic means I'm doing this for my own inner belief. Now, if it's extrinsic, you do need that to an extent. There is some reward. I wanna get monetized. I wanna be able to grow my channel, spread my brand. But I know deep down, I love talking about these topics. So when I don't get a like on every video or I get 10 views on this one, but a thousand views on another, I gotta disregard either or. The mentally tough people, they see good reinforcement and negative reinforcement exactly the same. Doesn't mean they embrace it when it goes wrong. It just means you wouldn't even tell if they were doing anything bad or wrong. You just know that they're still staying stoic, staying true. And this is the same thing you gotta do. Cause going back to the cognitive aspect, your brain feeds off these feedbacks. So if you reinforce your brain, there's something called the anterior cingulate cortex, the PFC, which is the prefrontal cortex, and the VTA, which is the ventral, tegmental area. Now, the reason I bring these three things up, the PFC, the ACC, and the VTA is because it's that feedback I was talking about and it literally goes to your brain. The PFC plans things out. Okay, I wanna build my channel. I gotta think of topics. What are my goals? How much views am I trying to get? Am I sharing this properly? I'm planning it out, getting set. Now, the ACC is error detection. Okay, this video didn't do as well. What do I need to change? It's the titles, the tags. Do I just need to change the type of style? And then the VTA is the actual dopamine response saying, Good, you got 21,000 views on that Sha'Carri Richardson video. Go check that out and do it again or do something similar. And I, I kind of fed off of that and I got another view that did a few thousand. So the goal is how do you feed back of all this and make it happen? So it's not just some magical thing. Mental toughness is a science, it's a practice and the skill that you can build. All right, thanks for tuning in guys. This great stuff is always from Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Make sure you check out his page. Go like, comment, and subscribe over there. But also do it here because, you know, I'm trying to grow my channel to get big as his eventually. And as always, thanks for letting me break it down and get your mind right.